Sharon believes the string of arsons is out of control in the city with nearly 30 over the past two years. Now Pennsylvania police, the state police are stepping in to help. First News reporter Molly Reed talked with people living there. She's live in the newsroom. Yeah, guys, so far in 2017, there have been 19 house fires in Sharon. Of those 19, 16 are being investigated as arson, though most of the houses were vacant. The one firefighter fell through the floor while they were fighting it. It's dangerous for us. It's dangerous for them. Lisa Hill's family has lived on the West Hill in Sharon for more than 50 years. Back in February, the empty house next door was targeted, and it was hit several more times. People have children around here walking around. What if these houses just fall down while your child's walking past? That home was just one of 16 police believe arsonists targeted in 2017. It's got to the point where there's so many fires. It's taken up so much resources just to contain the actual incident, let alone the investigation that um, I'm to the point where the investigation part is where I need help with. Pennsylvania State Police are now working to find the people responsible using advanced tools in evidence laboratories. Sharon is a, you know, definitely an area where we would really uh, like to see the public uh, be able to help us out in any way you know, that they're capable of. Fire Chief Bob Fiscus says it's been taxing on the city's budget, too. He said part of it is paying the fire and police staff overtime. He's also working with the community development budget to try to tear down some of the damaged homes. Part of that driving factor is the blight in the, in the vacant houses. Yeah, there, there's no easy answers and there's no answers that exactly fit in our budget, but we're, we're thinking out of the box and, and we're collaboratively working together to, to come up with a solution. And PSP is working with Crime Stoppers to get a reward together for the public for any information they have to offer. In the newsroom, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News at 5.